Disclaimer, this is an original podcast episode, an AI-generated summary of The Diary of a CEO podcast, and is not endorsed by the podcast itself. Hello, I'm Dr. Tara Swart, and today I'm going to summarize some fascinating ideas discussed in The Diary of a CEO podcast. We'll explore the power of the mind, the impact of stress, the importance of sleep, the role of intuition, the value of beauty, the wonders of neuroplasticity, and the influence of language on our behavior and brain. In a remarkable experiment, weightlifters increase their muscle mass by merely visualizing lifting weights for two weeks. This highlights the incredible potential of our brains. Our thoughts and beliefs can have a profound impact on our physical bodies and abilities. Stress is not only a personal experience, but also contagious. The stress hormone cortisol can leak out of our sweat and affect those around us. It can even lead to stubborn belly fat. Managing stress through techniques like proper sleep, a healthy diet, hydration, and physical activity is crucial to maintaining balance in the body. Our body is not just a vessel for the brain, it's intricately connected to it. Taking care of our physical health directly affects our brain's performance. To thrive, we must create optimal conditions for both body and brain. To foster bonding and trust, maintain eye contact, engage in physical touch, and share laughter with others. Vulnerability and shared struggles also contribute to deeper connections. Our bodies still carry ancient mechanisms designed for survival, such as reproductive hormones and stress responses. Understanding these mechanisms can help us manage stress and create healthier environments. Quality sleep is essential for brain health. The glymphatic system cleanses the brain of toxins during sleep. Getting eight hours of sleep, sleeping on your side, and even co-sleeping can have numerous benefits for emotional and spiritual well-being. Intuition is a powerful tool stored in our nervous system. Women tend to embrace intuition more readily, while men may rely on science for validation. Our body and brain are deeply connected, and tapping into this connection can lead to better decision-making and even predicting illness. In the wake of the pandemic, we need to prioritize time in nature, find purpose beyond ourselves, and serve our communities. Adding value to our tribes is essential for well-being and survival. Our brains are wired to appreciate beauty and engaging our senses positively impacts mental health. Surrounding ourselves with beauty and nature can improve our overall well-being. Modern life can disconnect us from true social interaction and empathy. To counterbalance this, we can spend more time in nature, nurture meaningful relationships and limit screen time. Neuroplasticity allows our brains to change and adapt. We can stimulate it through activities like learning a new language, playing music, traveling and reading diverse literature. We can also change our habits and behaviors through focused attention, deliberate practice and accountability. Generational trauma can affect future generations through changes in gene expression. Understanding these effects can help us manage stress during pregnancy and support our children's emotional well-being. Healing from grief requires embracing the full range of emotions associated with loss. Avoiding or suppressing these emotions can be detrimental. Surrendering to the grieving process is essential for healing and moving forward. The temperature of our sleep environment impacts our sleep quality. It should gradually cool down and then slightly increase during the night mimicking natural temperature fluctuations. Neuroplasticity is like building muscle in your brain. It can be enhanced through various activities, including focused attention, deliberate practice, and accountability. Positive affirmations and language can also rewire our brains to boost self-esteem and confidence. Positive self-talk should address underlying issues and prioritize personal safety. Manifestation is about taking action, not just thinking or saying things, it involves setting clear goals and actively working towards them. The conversation touches on neurodiversity, suggesting that better diagnosis and societal changes contribute to conditions like autism and ADHD. Indigenous wisdom, including practices like humming and chanting, can enhance creativity and relaxation. Our thoughts about aging can influence our physical abilities. Positive beliefs about aging can lead to better health and well-being as we grow older. By understanding these concepts and applying them in our lives, we can unlock our full potential and create positive changes in ourselves and our communities. Thank you for joining me in this podcast episode of 
exploration and self-discovery.